All right, hey guys, as my promise to you last year that I would do a review on the matzahs again this year, 2019, Tafshin Ayin Tess. We are currently right before Purim, thus Shalom here is wearing a pink tie. All right, we're going to go over approximately about 10 different matzahs. I was not able to get my hand on all of them, but we'll, it will give you a good idea so when you go into any store you go into and you're buying matzahs, you want to get an idea of what you're looking at, so this will give you that idea. All right, um, we're going to start by going over the flavor, the thinness, the crispiness, and the overall texture and, fl and flavor. All right, the first one here we're going to, this is actually um, ma uh, matzahs malchus. This is malchus. From your shalayim. This is whole wheat. This one is whole wheat. And here, show them, take a piece. It's a very good whole wheat. It's thin, yes. it's got flavor um, with a little bit of an undertone of almost like a sweetness to it. Um, not like the American, it's very Israeli style, uh, where you have that a little bit of that sweet undertone to it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's it's a bit. It's like it almost. It's almost has the taste like it's sweet. It's very nice. It's light. Very good for whole wheat. Your shalim style. I agree. I agree with everything you said. Excellent. Now this is a badatz Lubavitch, um, and it's eighteen ninety five a pound and they come eight matzahs per pound. So that's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna go over to some other ones. This is from the same... This is matzahs malchus, except this one is premium. Right, this is premium, which means it's the same bakery as the other one is malchus. Also, badatz, Lubavitch. Premium means it's even better than the whole wheat. It's their best ah. one. Okay, which means here, um, this one here, uh, comes also eight matzahs per pound. Um, actually, no, this is not eight matzahs per pound. This is about 12 matzahs per pound. Thin, crispy. The freshness, it did travel. Um, yeah, the freshness traveled. Um, it's good. The crispiness is very good. The flavor is good. Pretty much the same flavor as the other one. Yeah. Just a better flour. They call it premium. This one it's regular. This one is... Yeah, this one is regular. This one's just regular, you know. This one you're gonna get six, seven matzahs per pound here. Yeah, it's also badat. It's non-premium. This one is yeah, six to seven matzahs per pound, fourteen ninety-five per pound. Now let's taste it. You can taste the thickness. That's thicker than the other ones. Yeah, it's a but, lot thicker than the other ones. It's but, it's, not, but it's nice and crunchy. No, like it's not thick, but it's definitely a lot thicker than the other ones. But it's but, nice and crunchy. It has a nice, it actually no, has some nice It's nice and crunchy. It. Flavor wise, it's pretty good. If you ask my honest opinion, I think the flavor on this, and this is their cheapest one at $14.95 a pound, I think this one is even better than the whole wheat and the premium as mm -hmm. far as flavor wise. It has more texture to it on the thickness. My opinion. This is fire matzis. No, okay. This is pe'er matzis. This is matzis. yeah. This is Lando. This is out of Lando from from Merchis Troll. Mm -hmm. Also from Merchis Troll. Okay. This one here. This is Landa regular. Yeah, this one actually you get 10 matzahs per pound. It's pretty 
fingers. Though, as you could give a look at the matzah, it's not that very big of a matzah. Um, but they, they uh, did manage in okay. getting shlemus. Yeah, they all came shlemus from the travel. Um, you're getting about 10 matzahs per pound, but they're not that big. Now, if we go on the actual flavor of it. Oh. All right, there you go. Freshness definitely traveled. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Crunchy wise, it's it's okay. If you're looking for something really crunchy, probably don't get this. This isn't the crunchiest thing ever. It is. I actually think it's pretty crunchy, and not just that it's pretty crunchy. I think that it's um, flavor wise. Not just a pretty crunchy. I actually think it has a different flavor than the other ones we just tried. It actually doesn't have that sweet undertone that I mentioned on the other one. It actually has more of that oven, a bit of the smokiness to it. This one, I definitely feel like it's more on the not fresh oh. side. Well, get... this is this is this their... one to me is a bit of a thumbs down. We're looking at, at the child's perspective. It's all right. I mean, this is still it's eighteen ninety five a pound. Can't really go wrong with that. And right. this is also a pair of my yeah. rice. Same one. Let me see which one. Which one is this? Oh, I have it inside. Air this. Same one. Okay. This the one you can see as um, the Landa Matzas comes with a stamp, a seal of approval of authenticity that it's his. This one is. This is the. This is the Pshutin. This is the real Pshutin. The simple ones. Just regular. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see over here, if you're able to see, okay, I gave it quite a bit of a, um, oops, not being very careful here, uh, let's see how many slayers we got in here with this uh, level of abuse. All right. First one's run, not not bad, but that was me. I cracked yeah, it. Yeah, and the rest right. is fine. All right, here, go for it. Let's taste it. Not bad at all. This actually tastes very good. Extremely thin. This one, the crunchiness. The crunchiness very, isn't so good in this. It is very much crispy. Not crunchy, it's crispy. Yeah, this one, yeah. If you're looking for crispy, this is kind of good. This one tastes like... This is also the package, by the way, this one. It comes six matzahs in this box, um, treated as almost a pound. This is was from Iftayim, so... But it's excellent. This is the best matzah matzah I've ever had. This one here is also Landau, um, your Shalai matzah, Eretz This is his really thin, thin matzah. You're getting 14 matzahs per pound. They're extremely thin and very nice sized matzah. This one's broken, but they're very nice size. You can see by the size yes, of it. Yes, and now they're very crunchy. They very are. Crunchy. Very crunchy. Extremely delicious. And I like the taste a lot. So and I believe, taste. I believe it's about twenty, uh, about twenty dollars a pound. Don't mark my words on it. It's approximately twenty. This is phenomenal. This is the thinnest, best twenty dollar pound you're gonna get, mm -hmm. no really question good. at all. Really good. This is also from Mishmer Samatzos. You can see this is super extra thin. Oh, this is the super extra thin. So what was yes, this one? And this oh, is, this was the whole wheat. I just did the whole wheat. I apologize on that. This is the whole wheat. This is super extra thin. And this is the super extra thin. And this is thin. 10 to 11 matzahs per pound. Yeah. And this super one here. Super extra thin. Is and it, this is 21 is this also, 95. Is this also, um, this is 21 95. Is this now. also, um, what's it called? Is this also okay. whole wheat? Is this also whole wheat? This has the label on it of the super extra thin. Is this also whole wheat? No, this is not whole wheat, but this is extra thin. Okay, this. Okay. 
Very good for super extra thin. Delicious. For those of you that need the extra thin, this is your best bet. For the price, you're not getting thin matzahs like this for the price of $21.95. This one here was also extra thin, but this one was whole wheat. This one's direct. The one I'm trying right now is the is regular. It's very good. Should I show the last one? Mm -hmm. The reveal No, it's not the last one. I'm, I'm going to have more. We're just going to do a cup. Don't worry about it. Bring it. And Haredin. This one is Haredin. Haredin. <laughs> this one's Haredin. This is from Bar Bark, not from Israel. They make the thinnest matzah in the world. Oh. <laughs> is this the extra thin? Yeah, well, this is. I call this paper. <laughs> I call it paper. Um, for good reason. <laughs> it melts in your mouth. Mm. Very nice. But you're going to pay for this. $40 a pound. Oh. So your best go... bet is still Mishmeres Hamatzais with the thin matzah. Yeah, the thin and the whole wheat are definitely the Mishmeres best. Mishmeres Hamatzais, guys. Nachareidim. Your best bet for th extra thin matzais is Mishmeres Hamatzais. Half the price. And yes, almost as good. And basically the same good. I don't know about the same. Almost. But then again, whoever likes a crunch, don't get the thin. If you like a crunch in a matzah and you want that flavor, you like that work, do not get the thin because it literally melt, melts in your mouth and doesn't have the body that the thick matzahs do. So the in-between are the ones that I showed you before. It'll crack on you on the second look. It almost has a flexibility. Almost. Yeah. Okay, we got one more for you to try. This is Ma Montreal Matzah Bakery. Montreal, I believe it's about $24, $25 a pound. Also Lubavitch. The size is a bit small. No, it's not. The size is perfect. You're looking at it. Um, extremely, extremely crunchy. Um, it just falls apart. Very, very crunchy. This is by far obviously you cannot compare the Israeli matzah to Montreal or American matzah. This year you think Montreal is the best? I, I don't know about the best, but Montreal is absolutely amazing. This is absolutely yes. delicious. Full of flavor. It has a good taste. A bit of smokiness to it. Yeah, it's nice and crunchy. It falls apart in your mouth. Definitely, also, best value for your money. I can keep eating this. And I think that's going to wrap it up. We're going to summarize for you soon. I'm going to put at the end of the video a special, uh, uh, another summary. Uh, but this, I'm going to continue eating this for now. <laughs> it's too good. Me too. And then we don't eat it again for face off. buy more of it. Guys, till next year, for the next review, hopefully I'll have more matzahs next year and um, more bakeries submitting for to have their matzahs reviewed. L'shana Bob Yerushalayim. L'shana Bob Yerushalayim. Yay, yay, yay.